Welcome to Make Easy. This is the another video of numeric pattern printing. And in this video, I will explain you about how to print the pattern like this. And also I will explain you how dual loop concept work in QBasic. Dual loop concept means the loop inside the another loop. As you can see in this program, we have used here while loop. And inside this while loop, we have used for loop also. So this is what dual loop. This is outer loop. It end at here, where we have written here, wind. This is the outer loop, while loop is outer loop. And inside this while loop, we have written here for loop. This is inner loop, which end at here, where we have written next j. So this is what dual loop. Now let's see the pattern. What we have printed here, one. And next time two, two. Next time three, three, three. As you can see, as you can notice here, if the number is one, we are printing that number only one time. If the number is two, we are printing that number two times. If the number is three, we are printing that number three times, four times, and five times. Okay. So in this program, before dry run, let me tell you one thing. This is the outer loop. Outer loop is determining which number to print. As you can see, first of all, I have written here a equals to one. So this outer loop is determining which number to print one, two, three, four or five. And the inner loop is determining how many times we should print that number. Let's say first of all, a value will be one. And what we have written here inside the loop, j equals to one to a. One to a means one to one because a value is initially one and print a. That means we'll print that a only one time because this loop will execute only one time, one, one to one. And after completion of this for loop, we are incrementing the value of a by one, a equals to a plus one. So a value will be two. And then it will come in the wind. After wind, it will go here again, check a, that means two less than equals to five condition will be true. Now it will come to the inside loop, j equals to one to a. One to a means now a value is two. So print a. So two will be printed once because this loop will run two times, one to two. So it will print two again. Next time a value will be three. It will come here and it will be one, two, three. So this loop will execute three times and it will print the value of a that is three, 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 three. So in this way it works. Now let's try on the program. First of all, CLS. This video will be a little bit long, so please watch till the end and understand this dual loop concept very easily. CLS will clear the data of the output screen. If you have something there in the output screen, it will be clear. Like this, this is the output screen, this is cleared. Now, we are keeping A equals to 1. Why 1? Because we are printing 1 first time. So, A equals to 1, this is the initial value, while A less than equals to 5. A means 1. So let me write here also 1 less than or equals to 5. Is this condition true? 1 is less than equals to 5. Yes, condition is true. When condition is true, it will go to the inside loop here. Value of A is what? 1 inside the loop for J equals to 1. 1 to A. 1 to A means 1 to 1 because value of A is 1. As you can see in the box, value of A is 1. So this loop will run from 1 to 1. So it this will execute only one time. So this is from 1 to 1. So this loop will execute only one time. Okay. J equals to 1. So I will write here 1. And condition is true. Print A. Print A means in the output screen, value of A will be printed. That is 1. 1 is printed next to j. Next j means value of j will be incremented by 1. So that is 1. So it will be 2. And when program control come to this line, it will go to the for loop again. Now j value is 2. Right? Now j value is 2. But this loop will execute from 1 to 1. So this condition is false. Because if j value is now 2. But we want to execute up to one only. So this condition is false. 
when this condition is false it will go to the next line just after next j that is end of the loop so after next j what i have written here a equals to a plus 1 a equals to a plus 1 means a value will be 2 1 plus 1 will be 2 initially a value is 1 so after that we are writing here print this print statement will move the cursor to the next line change the line the cursor will go to the next line because we want to print 2 2 in the next line so it will go to the next line then after that waned waned means while loop end w for while e and d for waned while loop end before it end it will go again to the while loop and check the condition here now value of a is what 2 2 less than equals to 5 this is condition is true yes this condition is again true if this condition is true then for loop will start executing again inside inner loop so j equals to 1 2 a now value of a is what 2 so in the place of this a it will come 2 so this for loop will execute two times now because 1 2 2 okay first time j value will be again what 1 so j equals to 1 because this loop is execute again so j equals to 1 then print a print a means we have here cursor a means a value is 2 now it is printed next j this next j means j value will be incremented by 1 it is initially 1 so it will be 2 and it will go to the loop again j equals to 2 and we are executing from 1 to 2 so condition is true when condition is true again print a print a means we will print that value a value is 2 so 2 2 is printed next next j next j means j value will be incremented by 1 that will be 3 and it will go to the loop again and check the condition it is 1 to 2 only not 3 so this condition is false now when condition is false it will go just after the end of the for loop that is this one next j a equals to a plus 1 now a value will be incremented by 1 that will be 3 again print our cursor is here it will change the line go to the next line cursor is in the next line now print statement just move the cursor to the next line after that when when means while loop end before it end it will go to the while loop and check the condition now value of a is 3 3 is less than equals to 5 condition true when condition is true this loop will start executing again from the beginning so this time value of a is what 3 so 1 2 how much 3 this for loop will execute 3 times why because a value is 3 and we want to print that 3 3 times so this loop will execute 3 times initially j value will be again what 1 or j equals to 1 means value will be 1 and print a a means in the next line we are printing value of a that is 3 is printed next j means value of j will be incremented by 1 that will be 2 and it will go to the for loop again and 1 2 3 so value of j is 2 condition is true again print what a a means value of a is what we can see 3 3 is printed again next j next j means value of j will be incremented again and it will be 3 and it will go to the for loop again and j is equals to 1 2 3 now also 3 is included here so condition is again true and print a again value of a is what 3 3 is printed again next j next j means j value will be 4 and it will go to the for loop again so 1 2 3 only not 4 so this condition is false when this condition is false it will go to the next line just after end of the for loop that is next j so just after that what we have here we have here equals to a plus 1 so a value will be incremented and it will be 4 now print this print will move the cursor to the next line and wind wind means it will go to the while loop again and check the condition now a value is what we have 4 now 4 less than equals to 5 this condition is again true when this condition is true it will go to the next line and this for loop will execute again now j equals to 1 to a a value is now 4 so this for loop will execute 4 times because we want to print this 4 4 times so first of all 
j equals to 1. Initially, j value will be again 1. And print a. Print a means value of a is what? 4. 4 is printed. Now, next j. Next j means value of j will be 2. And it will go again here. 1, 2, 4. We have value 2. So, condition is true. Print a. a value is 4 again printed. In the same way, next j means j value will be 3. And it will go to the loop. And up to 4, condition is again true because we have j value 3. So, print a. So, 4 will be printed. Next day, next day means value of j will be 4. And it will go to the loop again here. Up to 4, condition is true. Condition is true means print a. Again, value of a is what? You can see in the box, 4. 4 is printed. Next day. Next day means value of j will be 5. And it will go to the for loop again. And 1, 2, 4 only, not 5. So this is what condition is false. Because value of j is 5. And we want to execute that only 4 times. So condition is false. When condition is false, it will go just after the next j. That is the end of the loop. And we are incrementing a equals to a plus 1. So value of a will be 5. And print. Print means it will just change the line. Go to the next line. Move the cursor to the next line. W E N D while loop end. Before it end, it will go to the while loop and check the condition again. Now value of a is 5. So 5 is less than equals to 5. Condition is again true. It is not less than but equals to 5. So condition is true. When condition is true, this for loop will execute again. And how many times it will execute? 1 to a. A means value of a is what? 5. So 5 times it will execute. And we have value of a is 5 and we only print that 5 times. So that's why it is executing 5 times. Fine. So initially j equals to 1. So loop will ex execute again j equals to 1. Condition true print a. So 5 will be printed in the output screen. Next j means value of j will be 2. And it will go here in the loop. And up to 5 condition is true. Again print a. A value is again what? 5. So print it. Now after printing next day again, next day means value of j will be 3 and it will go to the loop again here. So value of j is 3 up to 5 it is running. So condition true print a. Again a value will be printed 5. Next day again, next day means j value will be 4. And go to the for loop up to 5 condition is true print a. Again we are printing that value 5 because a value is 5. Next day, that means j value is 5. And again, go to the loop. Up to 5, condition is true. Again, print what a. a value is 5. So it will print this 5 again. Then we got the desired output, what we want. But still, this loop will execute. After printing, next j. Next j means value of j will be 6. And it will go to the for loop. Up to 5. We have here j value 6. So condition is false. When condition is false, it will go just after the end of the loop. That is next j. And here we have written a equals to a plus 1. So value of a will be 6. Print. It will change the cursor here. And you go to the next line. Fine. Then when. When means while loop end. Before it end, it will go to the while loop and check the condition. Now value of a is 6. As you can see in the box. So 6 less than equals to 5. Condition is false and when we got 6 here, we don't want to print that value because this outer loop will determining which number to print. 6 is less than equals to 5. Condition is false. When condition is false, it will go just after the end of this while loop that is here. When and after this, what we have written here is end and this is the end of the program and we get the result. 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. So in this way it works. Please watch this video once again and try to dry run the program by yourself and you will be 100% clear about this. Let me run this code here in the QBasic. I've written already here. So let me run this program first. Yeah, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4, 4, 4, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. Got it? Good. Okay. But <clears throat> if I want to print pattern which look like this. Like not only up to 5, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6. So what I can do? This outer loop is determining which number to print. So we are starting from 1 
up to what? Five only. So we want to print up to six. So what I will do is I will change this value up to six. I will do here. So this outer loop is determining which number to print, and inner loop is determining how many times. So it will change depending upon the value of a. Good. So we can do that in simplest way. So let's execute this. Initially starting from one and up to six. Six, 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 six. In this way it works. Hope you understand this video. Now, if I want to do using do while loop and for loop, so what I will do here is I will just cut it from here, control X, and in the place of that I will keep here do. And in the place of this wind, I will write loop and same thing while same condition here. This is the program using do while loop. Same output done. Now, if I want to do same program using for loop, so what I can do here, so I will write here for i equals to 1, 2, 5, 1 to 5, because we are printing numbers from 1 to 5. This outer loop is determining which number to print. That's it. And in the place of this loop while I will write here next time. And remaining thing will be same. Okay, I will use the here a because I have written here a here. So I will use a in the for loop. And I don't need to write here a equals to a plus one because I am using for loop. So let's do it. Hope it will give the correct result. Yeah. It is giving the correct result. Like if you want to print up to seven, you can write here seven. That's it. Nothing else. Yes, done. So in this way it works. Just try to write the the code without watching this video. After watching two times, just try on it and try to write it again. You will be hundred percent clear about this. Thank you for watching. If you have any type of confusion, you can just comment below. And if you like this video, click on the like button, click on the subscribe button and share with your friends. Have a great day and see you in the next video.